Hello there ladies and gentlemen, how are you all doing today? This video is going to be a quick tutorial that helps you download, install and get your favourite mods and mod packs for Minecraft in 2020 and onwards. Now many of you might be very familiar with the Twitch app. When you log into the Twitch app you have a tab over here that is mods and this then allows you to download your own and install your favourite mods for different games. That has changed now and you'll see it says they've announced a new home for Curse Forge, which is the host for all of your Minecraft mods. So we're gonna click on that, go onto Curse Forge and you can see there are two options, download for Windows or for Mac. I'm going to download the one for Mac and we're just going to let that download. We can close that as soon as it's done, but we'll open it up as well and we'll say yes. Now that that's open, we're going to go through the installer. We're just going to say next. We're going to choose our installation folder Generally, I just recommend you leave it as is. We're going to say, yep. We're going to say, that's fine. We're going to say, next. We're going to say, accept and install. Perfect, Curse Forge and Overwolf have now been successfully installed. You'll see both of them are over here. We can now click launch. Yeah, you can see it playing the animation as the application starts up. It's gonna go through a quick introduction for us. Feel free to go through this and when you're all done. And here you now have access to all of your mods again. You can click over here and you can see I've already got a couple of my own mod packs. You can now browse your own mod packs just as you used to on Twitch, but now on Curse Forge, which is hosted by Overwolf. Now, the next thing I want to quickly show you is how to get access to the Feed the Beast mod packs as well as they are no longer on Curse Forge. We are going to exit Curse Forge. We're going to open up Overwolf. Overwolf you can think of as a hub for applications that relate to your games. Applications for mods, for streaming, for tools and tips and things like that. Once it's opened up, all you're gonna do is click on the search icon over here and you're just going to search for FTB app. Here it is, click on it, click install, and now you will download your Feed the Beast application. Once that's finished installing, you'll now have access to your Feed the Beast application and over here you can now see all of the different packs that are provided by Feed the Beast. You can start browsing them and installing the ones that you like. Now that you have Curse Forge and your Feed the Beast app installed, you can start looking for mod packs to download. So over here at the very top, you can see we can just select Browse Mod Packs. We can look for our favorite mod pack. So here we have RL Craft. We can click Install, or we can just click on RL Craft, and we can install from here. That will now download, and in just a second, it should show up on my mod packs. RL Craft has now been installed, so we can click play. Wait for it to open up for ourselves. Here we go. So the final thing that I want you guys to note is before you start playing RL Craft, I want you to come here to installations. I want you to come over here to RL Craft, click on the three dots, click edit, click more options down over here. And over here, you will have your JVM arguments. Depending on how much RAM your PC has, if you have eight gigabytes worth of RAM, I recommend leaving the settings as is. If you have more, like up to 16 gigabytes of RAM or above, then I highly recommend that you go over here, you delete 4096, you enter 8192. You can then click save, and that now means that Minecraft will be allocated eight gigabytes of RAM, which is generally the most well-recommended amount for having a smooth Minecraft mod pack experience. Of course, bear in mind that the process I showed you doesn't work just for RL Craft, it works for every mod pack that's available on Curse Forge. And finally, if you're using the Feed the Beast app, you simply go onto Browse, find a Feed the Beast mod pack that you'd like to install, and then press Get. This will then allow you to select the version that you want, select the latest version and click install. And finally, once the mod pack is installed, you can click view instance and you can then click play over here. The same rules apply as before. Go into your installations, click on the three dots by FTB Omnia, change the arguments as necessary and click save. And lastly, once that is all set up, you can now start playing your mod packs. Of course, do bear in mind that sometimes mod packs can take several minutes to load up. There are plenty of different mods that are there and it takes a long time for the PC to load it all into your system. Hopefully you find this information useful and you enjoy getting back into your new Minecraft mod packs. Guys, enjoy and have fun.